Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we're asking the question, why do I behave differently when I am in their presence? So why do I behave so crazy when they're around? Why do I feel so differently when they are there? So it might just be somebody that you don't necessarily have romantic feelings for, or um, you just feel in shy with them or, or something like this. Like you just have butterflies in your stomach when you are around them. So the question I'm asking for you is why do I have this feeling? All right, we have three decks. I like to use the Kipper cards and I don't have many of them. I have a few duplicates of these two and there aren't that many around actually or there aren't that many that I actually like using. So uh, I like the energies of these cards and this is why you see them so often whenever I do a Kipper card spread because I don't have that many decks. And I felt that they had the right energy for this type of reading whereas the Gypsy cards can have quite a sharp edge or thorns underneath it and you know tarot can be very deep and long winding and takes you down a corridor uh, which is quite intense and Lenormand can also have quite a serious edge to it whereas these cards yes they do have that seriousness well a little bit light-hearted or a little bit playful as well so I thought I would use Clipper cards today and once again the question we're asking is why do I behave differently when I'm in their presence or why do I behave so crazily in their presence and this is the option number one, number two, number three. Please make a selection and go down to the description box where you'll find the timestamp for your reading. All so right. for those of you who've chosen this option here, we are asking the question, as mentioned, why do I behave differently when I'm in their presence? Why do I behave differently when I'm around them? All right, so there's a card here. Another one here. All right, I'm going to just ask for one other card. Okay, there we are. It seems to me here that many of you are asking about a male counterpart. You feel quite distant to this person, and this person comes across as quite formal towards you. They they hold quite a lot of distance between you and them. And they behave in a very formal manner, but also in a very strict manner, like a like a military person, or like like perhaps like a professor, or like a um, a policeman. And they may, you know, they may meet you in a formal context. They may be a judge or uh, somebody working at a court. And the reason that you feel this way is because I think that you you are kind of thinking more about what this person's uh, thinking of you, and you have, you feel a closeness to the person. It's almost like you feel like a sense of serendipity or a sense of being quite close to this person. Like you could be a friend of this person or that you could get closer to them. You feel like you can feel something about their heart uh, and their softness and their vulnerability, but they keep you at a distance and there's a long way before between you and them before you can actually get to know them or they're holding you at an arm's length basically and they don't let you close to them and you are qu quite concerned about what he might be thinking of you or how you uh, how he perceives you and this is why you feel nervous when you're around this person because you are very concerned with what their thoughts are of you so if this is not a male it could be a female as well um, sometimes it could be a female with many male attributes as well so wh whether it's a male or female the reason that you actually um feel this way is because you feel quite nervous or you feel quite nervous around them because uh, there's the distance between you and that person and you're not sure how to bridge that distance and you're quite concerned about what they think of you and therefore it's that that fuels the almost anxiety that you have as a result of being in their presence. So I hope that's been of use for you. Let me know if that's actually resonated. So for those of you who have chosen this option here, what is the reason that we feel uncomfortable or we behave crazily in their presence or we actually are just feeling quite differently in their presence? Why do we behave differently when we are around them? There we are.
feels to me like this person is somebody that you feel that you are wanting to deceive them. It's not actually that you're trying to deceive them, but it feels the energy of the situation is almost like you're trying to deceive them. And it isn't really so. What it is is that you would like to come into their their sphere, almost like you want to be recognized by them um, in, a, in a status capacity. It's as if you want to be bestowed upon you a praise or um, a certain status or certain honor that you feel that you can only have become, through them. And this is some a situation where you are not honest about that. You are trying. You are there in a capacity where you're perhaps working, or you're offering your services, or you're just around them for whatever your reasons are, and uh, you pretend, or you are as if you are there for these other reasons. But the truth is that what you actually would really like is to have this here. So who Ehren kommen. So basically, that's basically to come into a high praise or into honor or to come high to come into a higher state uh, than you already are. So this is, um, in, in this regard, you are not a false person, you're not a, um, a deceptive person, but in this regard, it appears as if your, your energy has an, a deceptive sense to it. You're wanting something else than what you present yourself as wanting in that context. So translating that into Monday living, it might be that you're a worker and that you actually would like a promotion and that you're trying to do your job as well as you possibly can, but the actual, you have an ulterior motive, you want to have a promotion. And this is the the, um, the kind of false, and not false energy, but this kind of deceptive energy that you're emitting as a result. And the reason that you feel that you are nervous around them is because of the authority that they exert and the fact that you know that you're not completely clear as far as your intentions are concerned. So there's nothing wrong with having the intention to have this honor or this praise or this the status here that you wish for. There's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's just that you are, fear, there's a part of you that disagrees with yourself with regard to how you portray that. And this might not even be conscious. It might, it's most likely an unconscious thing. But this is the energy that you you portray or this is the energy that comes to the fore so when they arrive and they are in this capacity of an authority here um, this is actually like a, a like the law the court or like a, a, a judge you are feeling like you're almost judged in their presence so in fact i feel like this is really at a at a subconscious level like you're not even aware of this you just feel like really nervous around them but you don't realize that the reason that you feel nervous around them is because you are internally in conflict with the with what it is that you desire and how it is that you present yourself and what it is that you want it's almost as if you feel like you're undeserving of this like you feel like you're undeserving of this but you actually want that and therefore you see feel it see you see yourself as being uh, deceptive in that situation and once again this might be at a subconscious level you don't really realize it's going on so take a, a, a look at that and see where it is that somewhere in you you are in conflict within yourself and you're emitting that vibration and this is why you feel nervous when you're around this person because you feel that this person is an authority is an in an um, authority position and a position to be able to judge you so not they don't necessarily need to be in a status um, position higher than you or in authority position higher than you or in a kind of um, hierarchy uh, with regard to you they it doesn't need to be like that but you feel that you could be judged by this person you feel like you actually that they are judging you so it might be somebody that you even like and that you have feelings for but you feel uh, more scathingly that they can judge you for who you are and then you feel that if they were to judge you that they would be judging you by your weakness which would be the conflict that you have within you all right so i hope you've understood that and you you know what i'm trying to say here and that it's not too complicated and that you're not offended by me saying these things to you and uh, yeah i hope that that it has been of help to you i think that could be of great help to you because if you are in the situation and if you resolve that within you if you resolve this kind of conflict that you have within you then you won't be uh you won't be shy anymore because you if you can own the fact that you want this this promotion or this praise or this higher status or this wealth or to move from one one level of society to another if you can own that you won't be in conflict and you won't feel this nervousness around this person anymore and you won't feel that you need to be judged by that you just simply need to own this it's okay 
to want these things and it's okay to go after them. All right. And you don't need to be blatantly honest about it necessarily. You don't need to wear it on your sleeve. That's not what I'm suggesting here. You just need to be okay with it within yourself. All right. So I hope those um, that is that has helped you. Thank you so much for coming by and wishing you all very well. So for those of you who've chosen the third option here, why is it that I behave differently in their presence? What is it that I need to know or do? Right. So here there's a sense that what it is that you require, what it is that you actually desire is greater than what it is that you're being offered. And you have a sense of this. It's like your intuition picks it up. Uh, it's like you know there's something greater here. And I feel like for some of you it's definitely love. Like there's this love that you experience and that this person feels that love for you as well. Yeah, you might be feeling that. But quite literally what the cards are saying is that as a result of this unexpected money that will come, there will be a great change. And this great change will lead you to become quite a rich girl. And so your nervousness is what they're saying, or a rich person, a person with greater wealth than you have at this moment. That is the literal meaning of these cards, right? And it's almost saying that you're nervous. Your nervousness comes from the knowing of the goodness that is come about to arrive in your, in your life. It's like this ner creating this nervous energy in you. So that's one way of reading these cards. But I want to say that I, I get the feeling that this person actually likes you and you like them. And it's like an unexpected abundance or well-being that's coming into your life. And it leaves you feeling richer and happier and wealthier, not financially necessarily, but just well in terms of ha how happy you are. It makes you feel richer because of the love that you have and it creates this change and this change is almost imminent and you can feel that this change is coming by and that you're going to be together or you're coming together in some way which is bringing you a great deal of happiness and causing happiness not just for you but the other party concerned as well so I feel that at the end of it you will be well off and you know you will have the riches of love or you'll have those physical riches or you might have both those riches and you actually feel that so this is what causes this kind of butterflies in your stomach, so to say. This this is why you behave a little bit oddly with him, because you can't contain this excitement or this, um, yeah, this energy that's swirling around you. You just can't contain it. It's difficult to manage that. And it needs to come out in some way or the other. And so it comes out in the way in which you behave with them. And it you can't just can't control yourself. And that's how it basically manifests. So that's actually a great message for those of you who have chosen this number three. And I hope it does work out this way. Do let me know if it does. And I wish that it does for you. So I'm wishing you all the best. And thank you all to all my subscribers and all the people that comment on my videos. I really appreciate it. It's really nice to hear from all of you. And I'm sending you all much love and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.